All right, what's going on everybody? Now, today we are going to bring a video, just a little small tutorial, guys, about the new DeepBot feature that we have going on. Now, with this feature, this actually enables the Game Wisp to be integrated with DeepBot, which is really good. Um, with that being said, let me actually go ahead and get this real quick. Right, guys I apologize <clears throat> kind of got to try to get everything here on the screen uh, pretty much what we're gonna do here guys we're gonna have the CLR browser link uh, this is what's gonna be needed for when you want the deep bot alert notification to pop up on your OBS uh, this is an OBS um, tutorial by the way I'm I don't really do XSplit, but it may or may not be the same concept um, and then we also got the CSS wiki too as well with the uh, deep bot page which is going to give you the and of course the Xbox has an update right now guys so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull out unfortunately um, the way I got my monitor set up we have Xbox using uh, TV mode and skip and stay offline but if I stay offline it's probably not gonna let me use TV mode we'll just go ahead and do the update I do apologize about this um, hopefully the update don't take too long I'm going to have to let me see yeah it's not gonna let me, let me try to grab up oh, we got it good sweet okay uh, okay so first off sorry about the delay uh, as you can see right here we got the deep bot custom CSS page which is really good uh, this is what you're gonna need when you're doing like uh, like right now, you got donation notifications, blah, blah, blah. You got donation notifications too, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so pretty much what we're going to look for in this like box right here, we want to look for Game Wisp, okay, which is which is a new feature that's been added. Uh, so we're going to scroll down. This is for followers, and that's another follower. There's a host notification, uh, info panel, blah, 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 leaderboards, the chat box if you want it. Uh, there's the racetrack. That's for sub locations. Da, da, da. Okay, it's here somewhere. Ah, there we go. You're gonna look for a GW notification. Now, GW in abbreviation stands for Game Wisp. Okay, this is what you're gonna need right here. Starting from body, you're gonna highlight all of these, scroll all the way down until you hit the bottom. So pretty much, this is gonna be at the bottom of the page as of right now. So if you are watching this video now, when you get to this website, it's gonna be directly at the bottom of the page. Now, you're gonna wanna copy this. Make sure you have that ready. Uh, you could hold Control C or just right click, like Poppy, whatever you prefer to do. And with that, you're going to scroll it over. Like right now, we're going to look at ourselves. And let's go ahead and minimize the screen real quick. <clears throat> you're going to want to make a CLR. So you're going to click Add and you're going to click CLR Browser. Okay. That's going to allow you to do CSS. Now, I made one already and. I've named it Game with Notification Debot. So let's say we did that. Okay, it's gonna open up this window. By default, it's gonna say uh, Debot right here. Okay. Um, what you're gonna want to do? What I noticed when I first did it was the measurements was a little off. Uh, you can change the measurements this way. Like right now, it's 670 by 200. You can do the width and height this way if you prefer to do it that way. A lot of people just tend to do it this way with the dimensions because what you do here will affect what's going on in that CSS tab. All right, so 670 by 200 so far for me, it's pretty good. Um, no issues with that. And right now, we will perform a test if you guys like. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this deep bot notification thing here, and copy this, uh, and put it right here. Um, and then you're gonna want to take everything that we copied over here from the wiki page put it over here and simply just you're gonna overwrite whatever that's by default that's there and then just paste all that into this box now if you want to guys you can adjust this however you like uh, it's pretty good the way it is uh, if you want to be fancy and change the fonts the the size the colors whatnot even the background picture you can that's completely optional and up to you we're not gonna go through that with this tutorial though um, so yeah by the default one though it's actually pretty good and if we do a test, uh, we'll actually pop one right now. So it will show experts online has subscribed and this is a resub notification, meaning that they chose tier two of Game Wisp and for, you know, for the whatever amount that you chose to make with Game Wisp. Um, 
Let me actually get this over here, guys. So yeah, this is Deepbot. Um, so most of you are probably saying, "What the heck's going on?" I don't. I can't get Deepbot to work right off the hand. Uh, you're gonna want to click. Uh, right here, you're going to see a new thing called Game with Notification. Um, let me actually check Master Setting. I don't think we have to... Oh, integrations. There we go. You're going to want to click the integrations. Oh my gosh, can't even talk today. Uh, integrations, you're going to want to click that. Uh, when you do, uh, you'll notice right now at the bottom, Game with has been added. Uh, but it's going to have the www.gamewist.com. You're going to want to connect to your username, obviously. And you're going to want to click Yes. Once you do so with that, click Save, Exit Out. Then you're going to click right here where it shows game with notification. You're going to see notification options. Click that. And with doing so, you want to enable auto subs. I want to see why you want it. So definitely go for it. Uh, you can have it to where, like me personally, my tiers, I have sets of six tiers. Uh, I do have a starter kit. Um, that's for people that not really looking for like a VIP type bundle or, you know, they just want to throw a couple of dollars rather than throwing, you know, the five, 10, 20, 50, hundred dollars a month. Uh, so yeah, the, the starter kit pretty much gives them extra, right here with the add points. This is going to give them ret or give them coins, whatever your currency name is. For me, it's retro coins. So they will get 150, and you can click this to make sure that it's broadcast edition in chat. Uh, if you want to give them a resub bonus, feel free to do so. Uh, and how much you want to give them per month. Um, the note right here, this can be changed. Right now, it's set to the day, the month, the year. You can choose whatever ones you want, but right now by default it's set to GW subbed on whatever day and this month. And the channel message, channel message resubbed, all that good stuff. Okay guys, now, now this is going to have the sound new sub, sound resub notifications. You can click this and browse to whatever you want. Uh, me, I have the tax bar pop up set up so that way I can have the notifications pop up on my desktop so that way I can see if somebody does sub over at Gateways. And down here is just a few additional options as well. Here's a quick preview button so if you kind of want to get an idea of what it's like, just click that. And then it's going to show you with that. Now we can click new sub too and see what the new sub looks like. So that right there, with that, that's actually pretty good. It shows you the tier price, the, the person's name, and which tier package they chose, which is actually pretty cool, guys. So it's not too bad at all. So already by default, it's already set very, very nicely. Um, and again, you got different tier packages over here. Just make sure that you click which one you want to adjust. And each time you adjust, like right now, if I click tier 1, you'll notice 150 here. If I click tier 2, you'll notice 250 here. So definitely, I have mine set up. Uh, just make sure you guys do the same. All right, and that's gonna be pretty much it with that guy. So these pretty much all the options are built in already. You don't really have to do much. All you need to do is go to master setting, click integration, and then connect your game with to your Deepbot account. Once you do so with that, just click game with notification. You're gonna adjust all these cool settings. And once that's all done, remember though, you do have to open up OBS. You do have to open up a CLR browser. And when you do that, name it whatever you want. And like I said, I named mine Game Wisp. And when you do that, just make sure you have your notification link ready and you got that CSS provided to you from the pot website and their wiki. Other than that, that's pretty much going to be all it for the tutorial, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Any questions, feel free to ask down below. And I will catch you guys later in our next tutorial.